Resolve 14, scene using groups, take one. Marker. Today I'm going to show you how you can use groups in DaVinci Resolve to drastically increase your speed and workflow when color grading. So let's show you that. So before when I would color grade, I would basically say this is my shot. I would create a look. So just to give you an example, I'd create a look. Ooh, that's extreme. And then I would say, okay, that's my look. Grab a still. I'd go to the next shot. I would apply the grade and I'd basically do that. The problem is, then if someone wants to change, you have to go back and do that to all of them or at least do it to one of them and then reapply it. But then you could lose any secondaries you have and all that. Then I found out about groups. So groups basically allow you to put clips together. So let's go ahead and reset these nodes and show you first how to create a group and then why you would create a group. So, basically you take all the shots you want to group together. Now, this could be for a particular scene. Maybe you have, maybe you shot on two different cameras and they need different treatment. So you want to group different cameras together. Um, but, yeah, so really it's infinite possibilities. Literally infinite, but I will show you a few. Alright, so you select all the clips from this, in this case, our scene, and we will right click it, and you will do add into a new group, and we will call this, uh, let's call it cabin interior, which is our current scene, and then bada boom bada bam. Alright, so then if you wanted to take another shot and make it into a new group, a different group, you could add as many groups as you want. I'll call this uh, Backyard Exterior. Cool. So then if you look, this clip is selected. You have a little chain icon there, and that means it's in a group. You click this one, and it has a chain on all shots within that group. So you can easily tell what shots you'll be affecting. Very handy. Very cool. So now, also, if you want to change group, very simple. Let's say this one shot, I want it to be in the other group. I did something wrong or I changed my mind. Maybe I thought it was one camera and it was the other. You can go to remove from group or you can simply assign it to a new group. Very cool. Now do you see this is with this shot, so they are now linked together. And you also can load, rename, and delete Pretty self-explanatory there. All right, so let's put that back in the other group. Cool. So why would you want to put these shots in a group like that? You know, what's the workflow benefit except, you know, okay, so you basically add a grade and it affects everything, but how does that work? So up here you have different modes. You'll see it says clip, and when there's no group, you basically have clip and timeline. Clip allows you to add color changes to just that shot. Timeline affects the entire timeline. And then now that they're in a group, you'll see two new choices, which is group pre-clip and group post-clip. So typically, okay, well, yeah. So first off, they go in order of how they're applied. So it's group pre-clip, and then on top of that will be clip, and then post-clip, and then timeline. All right, so first why you would use group pre-clip, let's say you had a bunch of log footage and you needed to apply like a universal grade over that um, before you actually start doing the color correction and whatnot. So you would go to pre-clip, group pre-clip, and they all have different node branches and all that. And you could make it, say, add a Rec. 709 light, get it all in that color space. These are already Rec. 709, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and then what you should do is really use Clip more for a color correction and less of a color grade. So basically the, the goal is to get all the shots to look like they're in the same world. Nothing's off color-wise, exposure, all that. So this shot's pretty crunchy already. This shot is. That's pretty similar. These two shots look a little too dark. So in the clip, I would 
you know, say boost the midtones a bit, the gamma, as the kids are calling it these days. Um, right, and because this is in clip mode, this is only being applied to these nodes, okay? So now I say, okay, they all look like they're in the same world, they're all corrected, same color channels are the same, the luma is the same. And from there, theoretically, you can go to group host clip, and then if you add the grade, it'll be universally over everything in that group. And because all everything matches, you shouldn't have to do too many uh, you know, secondaries or changes you know, on a basic level. So, you know, everything's corrected. We will add our grade in the post clip. So let's say our producer is Shrek, and he said, you know what? I want some greens in there. So we add some nice greens. And we, tr we try to balance it with a little, a little red, but Shrek's like, he ain't having that. He likes the green. So we're pushing it green. Very cool. That's our look. Wow. Gotta love green. Great color. The best color, arguably. So, here we are. And then, you know, it's universally applied. And then if you want to do secondaries for individual clips, you want to add a vignette. Um, say one shot has like a weird thing in the background, a bright red light, and you need to tone just that light down, you can go back to clip and you're only affecting that one clip. Alright, but one problem with this now is, you know, if you, if you do want to save a still for your gallery, basically it's only going to save the node tree that you're, the mode you're currently in. So if I'm in pre-clip, it's only going to save the pre-clip nodes. If I'm in clip, it's only going to save clip. All of that. So how, if you want just one, you know, universal look, or your, you know, your still, how are you going to get all those nodes together to simplify your life? So all you got to do is you're going to right-click your shot. You're going to click Collapse Group Grades, as you can see right there. Very cool. Click it, and now you can see all three of your nodes are here. So there's your pre-clip, your clip, your post-clip. There is no timeline because we didn't use timeline. It'll only use uh, the ones you've changed. So from there, we can right click, grab a still. Now we have this here in case we need to, you know, add it to your gallery for a whole other project or whatever. You know, it's easily accessible or just for future reference. So that's it. That's using groups in Resolve. Very handy. Um, once you start doing that, never go back to doing shot by shot. It's so much quicker. You can literally, something that would have taken a day, you can do in a few hours. So thanks for watching. We're going to have a new Resolve tutorial every week for the next 10 weeks at least, and then probably keep it going. So hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. See you next time. That's a cut. That's a cut.